Hey everybody, it's me, Peter, and uh, I'm being joined by Antho Pants and Han Sardo. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> well, I have Caleb's hat, Caleb from the match. Okay. Um, and in here, I have uh, a bunch of names of actors and directors and just movie-related stuff. Um, we're going to pull out a name, and we're going to decide for ourselves who we think what, what we think is their best work. Okay. And we don't know what's in here, so. <laughs> I know what's in there. I know what's in there. All right, we ready? Yeah. Spice World, number one. I could talk about that for hours. I've never seen it. That's, that's not a bad thing. Okay. Jack Nicholson. Ooh. Ooh. That's, wow. Ooh. Whoa, we're starting off with know. the punches here. So wait, we're supposed <laughs> to go Sorry, best roll? Best, best roll. Oh, man. Hmm. Um. Well, okay, let me let me start. I want to start with something, okay. but I'm not going to lock it in. Okay. I'm going to say About Schmidt is actually his best acting performance, I think. It's so subtle because of the subtlety, but I would never go with it because no one would believe me. But he actually is really subtle in that movie. You think more subtle than uh, Cuckoo's Nest? Well, there's no subtlety in Cuckoo's Nest. He's all, he's flamboyant. He's well, crazy. Like in About Schmidt, he's like quiet. He'll just sit there like while the guy's giving a speech. And there's all these little, like, facial expressions he's giving off, like, oh my gosh. Okay, so is that, is, that in your, so that, is that in your opinion his best, or that, is that your favorite? Oh, I, I, I think that might be... I would put that in his top three, at least. But it might be his best, but I would never pick it, because no one would... Everyone would think I was crazy for picking that one over something like Cooper. So what, what's your top three? Oh, okay. Shining is probably my number one. I put that over Cuckoo's Nest. Okay. That's not even on my list. Really? The shine I have mind. weird. I have weird. Okay. My, I think... So my favorite... Anger management. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, um, I think, is... Um, <laughs> fucking... Cuckoo's Nest? No. As good as it gets. Um, the Departed. Oh, oh, The Departed. That's my favorite. Yeah, that's Departed. good. I think I'm... his best acting yeah. performance... Is as good as it gets. Mm. Controversial choice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very good movie. Kind see, of. See, weird. I would, I would put Shining and Cuckoo's Nest over that. I just, I'm not a huge. I just didn't. I don't, I'm not a huge Cooper fan, so I don't like. I, I've seen The Shining. You don't I'm, like. I don't. I don't like the wait, movie. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You don't like Kubrick. You don't like Kubrick. Right. Is it Kubrick or Kubrick? Kubrick. 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 Stanley Kubrick. Are we going to analyze Kubrick? every word I think? <laughs> every I episode. Well, I know I have trouble getting the names right because they keep they keep changing them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Ben Affleck was Ben Affleck for a long time, and then my friend no, just let my friend let it go for like months company. while I was making a fool of myself. No, but Do you guys see that new Ben Affleck movie? <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know what I'm about. Oh, no, I just, I don't, I don't like, I don't like The Shining, it's not my, like, I, I understand his performance, it, it's yeah. really good, but as far as, like, enjoyable, uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Like, the movie I enjoyed the most, okay. but, you know, not only okay, because okay. of him is The <clears throat> Departed. Well, hold on, let's lock it in, though. I'm gonna lock, I'm gonna lock in, I'm gonna go for it. I'm locking in about Schmidt. Okay. Because no one else is gonna go for it, and it's gonna make me unique. You're right, no one else is gonna go for it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your lock-in? Uh... I'm, so as an individual performance, because I feel like so in The Departed, he's surrounded by a very good cast, and uh, it's a very good story, but in as good as it gets, he's the main focal point of the movie, and I feel like uh, as far as an acting performance, so I'll lock it in as good as it gets. Okay. Uh, for me, I would pick The Shining, actually. Ooh, okay. I zero subtlety. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but for me, it was a toss-up between Cuckoo's Nest and The Shining, but I'd have to lock in The Shining. But I'm a big what? Kubrick fan. <laughs> okay. So wait, has to, who weird. wins? Do we let the audience decide? Who I, we let them decide. If we can't figure it out, we'll let you decide. Okay. So is know. it gonna be? Is it gonna be uh, anger management? That's <laughs> 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 so not. As good as the Shining. Yeah. Or about or Schmidt. About Schmidt. I mean, but I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. many movies. Go, to the, next, go to the next one. Yeah, just go to the, go next, to the one. next one. So All right. I'm talking about Chinatown. 
We didn't even talk about Channing Tatum. Oh, man, Channing Tatum. Yeah, so good. All right, director Steven Spielberg. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. 1948, is that what it is? 1942? 1942. 1942? No, I'm not going to go with that. Uh, yeah. I don't even think I've seen you that one all the way through. I haven't either. It's like a two and a half hour uh, spoof comedy about World War II. I wouldn't. Here's the thing. The Big Friendly Giant. Tell me if you guys agree with me on this one. Did he do that one? I think so. Okay. Tell me if you guys agree with me on this one. I wouldn't go with Schindler's List because I think there's other directors that have done the drama about as well. But they haven't done the action adventure hero like I Back agree. to the I, Future Raiders as well as he has. And I think that's really where you got to go with him. I agree that he is the blockbuster yes, king. summer blockbuster like. king. Absolutely. Um, but man, that's a tough... There's, just so, there's well, so many. If we're, uh, if we're talking blockbusters, mm -hmm. his best work, I think, is Jurassic Park. Ooh! <laughs> that's so good. I yeah. I would put Back to the Future and Raiders Back to the Future over Jurassic Park. Yeah, I would he didn't uh, direct Back to the Future. He didn't direct Back to the Future. Uh, Robert Zemeckis. Uh, oh, Zemeckis. He produced it. But okay. he did. But he did. He was involved. He's one of those. He was two. involved. Yeah. I think did Raiders. Did he do all the Indiana Jones movies? Yes, including I Crystal so. Skull. Oh, yeah. Okay. So are you going Crystal no, Skull? No, I'm not. <laughs> going we have, we have a lock in Hans I'm on going, Crystal Skull. Listen, listen. Uh, Indiana Jones is one of my favorite franchises ever. I have never seen Crystal Skulls okay. because I do not ever want to see that movie. And uh, in my opinion, uh, there are three Indiana Jones movies, yeah. and those are, are fantastic. Uh, yeah. I think it goes Raiders of the Lost Ark is definitely the best one, uh, The Last Crusade, and then Temple of Doom. And there is no other Indiana Jones movie that I'm aware of that exists. Oh, are you locking planet. in with Raiders of the Lost Ark? I'm going to lock in with Raiders okay, of the so Lost Ark. Okay, so we're both Ark. picking Raiders? I think we agree on this one. Okay. And you went with Jurassic Park. I went with Jurassic Park. It pained me not to pick Jaws. Ooh, Jaws is good too. Yeah, but, but, but Indiana yeah. Jones. So what happens now? Do we like? Do we just completely <laughs> kick you out? Because there's two against one now, and we have to compete <gasps> for the next Spielberg film. Because I'm going, oh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, Close Encounters on my next one. <sighs> you think that's his best? You think that's better than E.T.? Um, it's a better Alien movie. Yeah, I think it is. I think E.T.'s the maybe the more fun movie. Uh, but I think Close Encounters is the better made movie with gonna, the better acting. I'm going to throw one out there. Mainly because there's not as many children I'm in it. I'm going to throw one out there and you guys can fight over it. Okay, go. Saving Private Ryan. Oh, oh man. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Never mind. I want to save you. So we're locking yeah, yeah. on that one? I think we're locking on Well, I know. In, in my, I, Raiders of the Lost Ark is still my, my number one. Uh, but Saving Private Ryan is it's, definitely yeah, it's a really very good. close number two. But I think that even Saving Private Ryan now goes more in the realm of a drama rather than an action film. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I, I guess yeah, it the, technically wasn't blockbuster. Be but, a blockbuster really. but yeah, this is more of the yeah, yeah more of a drama. <laughs> okay, well let's, right. yeah, let's, let's let's keep this train rolling. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I did this one specifically for you. <laughs> oh God, Christopher oh. Nolan. Oh, oh, I'm a huge oh. Christopher Nolan. Fan. That's tough. I think it's Memento, though. Uh, that movie oh. changed my life. Okay, uh, I saw that <laughs> yeah. movie. That was the first movie I watched once, and then immediately was like, I need to watch this movie again because Backwards. I don't. Because and, and it's, it's great. You know, it was, it, no, nothing like that had ever. I don't even think still has ever been done. And uh, it's crazy to form a story like that in backwards. Increments, hmm. but I mean they're all good. I don't yeah, think he's made yeah. a single. I, would, I honest, I mean I love Memento. It's brilliant, but I wouldn't go f with it because I think it's not for everybody, and I and it's for me at least it's a difficult watch. Oh, get out of here! It's a difficult <laughs> get watch. Out of here. Because the first time, no, the first time you see it, you're like, what the heck is going on? And then you're like, that's awesome. And then the second time you see it, like, that was awesome. He did the whole thing like that. That's cr that's crazy cool. And then the third time you're like, okay, that's that was that no. Was cool. The third time you're like, I, that's it's, the same reaction. Like it's that. it's the on. world's. I'll give you this. Memento is the world's best gimmick film ever made. But it's a gimmick film. It's uh, I mean, I, it's like what Tarantino does, where he starts like just cutting everything out of order. Right. And I mean, I I, I guess that's true. But I I feel like Christopher Nolan. I, 
in terms of his latest movie, Dunkirk, I feel mm-hmm. like he kind of went a little overboard with how his gimmick, how it was in, you know, th- it took place over three different mm-hmm. time frames, and they don't really tell you. They just kind of flash it at the beginning. Yeah, Dunkirk is. And you got to figure it out. Is it Dunkirk or Don't Kirk? It's as Dunkirk. Don't, <laughs> you know what? Doesn't <laughs> as as like don't be frank. Dun, that kind of thing. Dun Spock. But uh, I don't. I don't think. I, I wouldn't call it a gimmick film. That to me is very offensive. And uh, well, I, I feel no, like because because you're relating it to like other times when there's a gimmick. It's usually well, the gimmick is the appeal. In this, I think it's an extremely well made film. But the fact that it goes backwards is. In, 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 a, in a way, a I would call it more uh, revolutionary. Uh, <laughs> a revolution, yeah. Than I would use, Here's the thing: you, you've established that you wouldn't pick Memento. You right. haven't yet said what you would pick. Okay. Well, I could. Uh, here's the thing: I love, I love Interstellar, and I mean, I love that film. Oh, that's not even. Okay. That's not and, even. And the fact that one. people don't like the fact that love is the answer, I thought that anyone who doesn't think that love is the answer is, first of all, you're just you're wrong. <laughs> it is. It is. It's the whole idea is that it's the thing that motivates you to be pushing forward. Like, what's going to motivate you to save the world? Well, maybe the love for your children. And then, what's going to motivate you to keep, you know, even though the odds are against you, to keep pushing forward? Love. That's all really humans have. I, I enjoy Interstellar, but number yeah. two for me, one hundred percent, is Insomnia. Ooh, Insomnia with Robin Williams. With Robin Williams and Al Pacino. Oh, okay. just you're a huge Pacino. I am a huge you? Pacino fan, and Chris Nolan didn't write uh, Memento, but he did direct it, and uh, that movie. Robin Williams is the bad guy. Fantastic. All right, all right. I'm gonna lock in with Batman Begins. You're just not gonna talk about it. <laughs> what? What you need to talk oh, about? Have to talk about First of all, We're the best Batman Knights. movie is clearly no, it's not. Dark Knight. Yes, it's it not. is. One hundred percent. Dark Knight. Batman Begins. The Dark Knight. <laughs> I'll say this: oh, if the Dark God. Knight didn't have Heath Ledger, I don't think it would be. But the thing movie. is, it does. But I can't give a whole movie yeah, yes, because of can. one performance. Yes, you can. That's the best performance you've ever seen in your life it for was. anybody. It was the best performance I've ever that, seen. I mean, so it's you very can't... close. No, I think Batman Begins is actually the better made film. That's It just doesn't stand out as much because I Heath think... Ledger's performance is Yeah, I think it? Heath Ledger's performance, uh, you know, I give it perform- if I'm giving it to performance, I go Dark Knight because of Heath Ledger. Uh, if I'm going scale, I'd probably go Dark Knight Rises. Because of that airplane scene, you're, it's just you're, incredible. See, you see, you're, you're doing what a common people think. It's just... Oh, Christopher Nolan, that's Batman. Like, those are those are his <laughs> weakest three movies, I feel like. I mean, uh, the, the Prestige was a, a fantastic movie. I would go Batman over Prestige. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'd go no. Batman over Prestige. I, I would go, that's number three for me. Locking it in. Prestige. You're going to lock in with you Prestige? Can't even, you can't even see. No, you don't even see. Like prestige is number three. The twist. Oh, it's got coming. Memento and Sonic and Prestige. First of all, I if foresaw you're, you're every single thing you're that Prestige was doing. You are such a liar. I'm not lying. You're such a liar. I'm not lying. That movie does everything for you. It's like, you want some Christian Bell? There you go. You want some Hugh Jackman? There you go. You want some Scarlett Johansson? There you go. You want some Andy Serkis? There you go. So you some want some David Bowie as Nikola Tesla? <laughs> yeah. Maybe his greatest Tesla's. role ever? Tesla was cool. There you Wait, go. David, what else was David Bowie in other than uh, no, Zoolander? Then he was Man in like Felder. he's in like The Hunger, that vampire movie. I never knew Felder. I didn't see it. Anyway, I don't know. Well, I, um, that one chick from the other stuff. If I had to go between Batman and Interstellar, I'd probably go Interstellar. But I don't know. I really like Dunkirk as well. <laughs> what are you going with? I, well, I mean, well, I mean, walk in. You spent like I'm walking in. You spent five minutes talking about Interstellar, walking, and then you're like yeah. locking it in. Batman I'm, begins. I'm locking, okay, okay, guys, I'm changing my mind. I'm locking in with Batman. Uh, begins. Begins. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think um, I'm in respect to you after this. Honestly, if it's coming down to like technique and just the the shot choice, um, I would go with Inception. Ooh. I forgot about Inception. Inception. <laughs> also Inception. another revolutionary movie. Yeah. Like. In terms of originality and in terms of a brand new movie, yeah. that I, I felt really refreshed watching that movie also with a fantastic cast so wait, as well. Okay, so I would pick Peter, did Peter win? I, I would actually say Peter won with Inception. Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, I, I, it's hard for me to pick because I don't think he's made a bad movie. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> but um, aren't you glad I put that name? Are you in giving it? it to Peter though? I mean, I, I that was, I mean, that, that, 
Yeah, in, the fact that we didn't think of Inception. Almost yeah, that was another time. movie where I saw <laughs> when I watched, and I was like, "Well, all right." <laughs> you named well, almost everything else in his filmography. Yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Doing good. Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Oh, are we doing Cameron Diaz's best performance or her worst performance or hard. her most mediocre I think performance? It's gonna be hard to find the best. <laughs> She's certainly got a range. Um, I thought she was really good in Vanilla Sky. You want to know what movie she ruined for me? Okay. It okay. Was Gangs of New York. Oh, okay. that's a good one. Yeah. She comes and she's supposed oh, to have an accent. I don't remember her in that. Exactly. I mean, that's you're lucky. Yeah. But she has like she tries to do this weird like Irish accent, I think, mm-hmm. and it's not very good. And uh, she's like, "Good day, governor." And it, I don't, it's, <laughs> it's a very I don't know. That was a very like weird choice. I feel like uh, to put her next to Leonardo DiCaprio just, and Daniel Day Lewis. They just have and expect her. To hold her own against I think, that, I don't understand. I think getting, I well, I think getting Daniel Day Lewis was intentional. I think getting Leo was not intentional. It's just the list. It's like who's the top actor we can get, who's the top right. actress we can get, and it just so happened that Leo turned out to actually be good. But uh, I hated her in that movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is she? I liked her in The Mask. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean I, it's a comedy. You know, she uh, did. She did a good. A she's good job. fine. I, and then okay. uh, something about Mary. I have. Uh, oh I yeah, have, she was good in that too. I have a best performance, and I think you're both going to agree with me on okay. this one. I totally forgot she was in this. Yes. Being John Malkovich. Yes. Oh, oh right. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. I forgot she was in that, but she's yeah. really good in that she is movie. Really good in that. I think. I think what Peter. Hold on. Movie. Let me let me just say this right now, okay? I'm going to have a private conversation with Haunts right now. <laughs> Peter wrote out the things, right? And then he's waiting for us to make fools of yeah, ourselves. And then he's, just and then he's like, oh, guys, today. guess what? I just thought of this. We didn't go over the yeah, it's like It's like we're playing poker and Peter's got aces in his sleeve. And it's like he pulls out five aces. <laughs> five aces. <laughs> so I'm not, even, I'm not even good at yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Oh, uh, Charlie's Angels. Full throttle. Talk about... Let's go full throttle on this one. Let's go full throttle. All right, you go, You won that one too, Peter. Let's, yeah, go, let's, let's go with the next one here. I don't, I don't here. want to talk about Cameron Diaz. It's going to be real Stanley tough. We're going to have to start Stanley teaming up here. Cameron. It's the last thing I wanted to do. Stanley Kubrick. Oh, oh. in your face. Space Odyssey. Oh, oh my God. How do, you even, how do you even sit through that whole Game movie? Game over. It's a great movie. Oh, it's not a great movie. It's brilliant. It's not, It's though. brilliant. I would it's go, not. I would go you back can, to The Shining for the... The thing is, I think Kubrick actually has an explanation for the film. And I, when I heard his explanation, I was like, I like my explanation better. But that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's okay. I guess I'll have to go with his. But everyone who watches that film has a different theory on what it means. And it forces you to think about it. And I really like that about it. Or he doesn't know what he means. He knows exactly what it means. And when he says it, you're like, yeah, that's really simple. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I would have to go with, like, the first 45 minutes of Full Metal Jacket. Ooh, okay. Okay. The drill sergeant stuff. I can, and then after that, it kind of gets. That's my problem that with him. Good all the way. I, I don't. I, I don't all the agree way. though. And it's my problem with him. With with good old Stanley is I feel like there are aspects of his movies mm-hmm. that are very 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 good, but then yeah. like then he gets super artsy fartsy about everything, and you're like, where are what are, like? And then it's like, oh, well, this is the third what? hour of this movie. Okay. And, and then. What, I, what, what? Hold on. P- you're gonna say something though, Pete. Yeah. What? Uh, what about Spartacus and Doctor Strange? That's what I was going to say, Spartacus. Because yeah. uh, I thought that would be much more of yeah, that's a That's a different Stanley, though, if we're talking about... It's, it's still Stanley. Stanley. I know, that's but... Like that's, saying, that's like saying uh, uh, Jaws or... What was that one? Uh, Duel. Steven Spielberg Duel. did Duel. That's his first film. Duel. It has uh, a Principal Rooney lookalike in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I... I don't know. I just... I, there's something... I, I can't... Uh, there's parts of his movies that I love, but did, he can't get me through the whole. Did way. you like Spartacus? I mean, obviously, I like. Would Spartacus. you put that on top? 
Yeah, okay, as a movie, yeah. The best there we go. Yeah. Hans is locking yeah, in with Lock Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah. <laughs> right, Hans right. is locking in with Lolita. I, I, I only saw Eyes Wide Shut once. I, 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 I think I did too. Only once. What about, uh, what was that movie? Uh, Larry Brown, Larry Crown? Barry, like, Barry Lyndon. Barry Lyndon, oh, the, Barry British, Lyndon. the British soldier. Barry Barry yeah, that's another that, one. There's one that I made. That's another I made, like, I made it through about like 10 minutes around. You can cut out the three hours in the middle, and then we can just make a two and a half hour movie. Stanley, you can cut this entire film. I just take a photograph. Dr. I think Doctor Strange Love is great, but I would lock in with The Shining. The, I just love The Shining. I like The Shining, but I think Space Odyssey, for its technical aspects, because if you watch, when you're watching like Inception and they're doing like the rotating stuff, yeah. it's amazing. But Space Odyssey's got that exact same thing. Yeah, Cooper and it was done like 40 years earlier, or something. <laughs> I just when I want to go to sleep, that's what I watch. Okay. Well, you're 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 a Spartacus man, and uh, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Uh-huh. That's true. I, okay. I did watch Space Odyssey with a bunch of my siblings, and it is like a horse tranquilizer. I have not. Uh, you know, in your yeah, credit, I, I literally I have not watched that movie in years, and maybe I should. You got to be awake to watch that movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> James Cameron. Ooh, Titanic. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just oh the, my I was, gosh! I was half expecting you to say the abyss. My gosh! Oh, the, abyss. the abyss is fantastic. This is great. When it comes to Jim, for me, it, in man. in terms, mm-hmm. oh, I hope this is the right director. I'm almost, almost like a moron right now. Oh, just do it. Go for it. It's Terminator. Yeah, that's okay. James Cameron. Terminator is James Cameron. <laughs> okay, in terms, <laughs> true lies. terms of endearment, um, it's not in, in revolutionary movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Terminator and Terminator Two. Yes. Yeah. Are which one? Maybe the I think two is my favorite. You go for two over. See, I'm one. more of a. I go one over two. I think I would go two. But two is fantastic. Probably one of the best sequels ever made. Man, I agree. I would want to pick Terminator Two as well. Hmm. Terminator Genesis. Well, let's <laughs> hold on. True Lies. Yeah, yeah. True Lies. Terminators. Aliens. Aliens, the second Aliens. Alien movie. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a number one guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a different director. Oh, Ridley right. Scott. Oh, yeah, Scott. yeah. Did and, he did, and, and Cameron, Cameron did the second, second one. one. Yeah, I mean the second one was good too. The it's, third one. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Well, the third one was no. somebody else. Yeah. David, David Fincher did the third one, yeah. but they yeah. they chopped it to. Yeah. Was it like the prison one? Yeah. I think. I think I'd go, um, and I'm not going to go Avatar, even though I like Avatar. I don't. I know people don't like it, but it actually is, it's really good. I'm going to go Terminator it's 1. It's Spokane. It's, I know, I know the story's not super original. <laughs> not super original. It's not, it's like, it's like they ripped off like multiple stories. <laughs> they just took like Dances with Wolves, Pocahontas yeah. and Fun And he's going to make like 12 more of them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't like but I would actually, I'd go Terminator as my number one, and my number two might be The Abyss. But Terminator, I'm locking in. I'm going to go with, yeah, both the Terminator movies, I think. You can't go both Terminator Why? movies. It's two different movies. I know. I'm just going <laughs> so number right. one. So number one going is num- number two. Yeah. And number two number is one. number one. You're I'm going number one. It. I'm going number two, and he's going both. <laughs> he's going number <laughs> no, three. No, I go number two. You're no. going number three. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't you ever jump on that. I'm going Terminator Salvation with Christian Bale. <laughs> Terrible no. movie. Terminator with 2. Sam Worthington. Terrible. What's the liquid one? Oh, good. Ridley, St- Ridley Scott. Oh. Oh, here's the guy's oh, alien. 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 He did Blade Runner. Blade Runner. I, you know, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this. You know what? I haven't seen the new one yet. He did, I the, like the, new he did one. the Martian. That's oh, yeah, true. The Martian was really good. I don't think I'd put it up there with Blade Runner or Alien, though. So, uh, Alien is yeah. definitely going to take my pick. Alien would be my uh, pick as well. Blade Runner's fantastic, uh. but I think Alien... The fact that <coughs> Alien has an alien burst out of a dude's chest, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I when you go back, and that movie was made, what, like the early 80s, I think, the late 70s? 79. Yeah, yeah. and it's still a terrifying... <laughs> 
two minutes. Three years. It's still a terrifying movie. Like, when the first time you see it and it, like, reaches out, like, yes. to grab. Yeah. Like, that movie's still terrifying uh, to me all these years The later. thing is, when you're a kid, the best part is everyone's eating. Yeah. They're yeah. eating while this happens. And then it's like, you're a kid, you see the film, you know, and, and then you have to eat. <laughs> you have to. It's not. It's it's not like Psycho with the shower scene. You don't have to take a shower. You're and not. You're not supposed to watch this when you're a kid. <laughs> it's true. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to take a shower. It's not like Jaws where you don't have to go in the ocean. And it's super. You can stay away from that. You have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought was happening. Like the guy ate. I didn't realize that. Like oh, it was the thing on his face. I was just like the guy ate, and then something burst out of his chest. I didn't want to eat anymore. And the cat makes it. So yeah, the cat makes the cat it. Fucking and, makes well, it. and so does yeah. Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, and then the cat makes it through the second movie mm-hmm. too. Oh, yeah. and then they don't talk about it. Oh, yeah. that she goes to prison. She, does, she doesn't make it. The and cat doesn't make it through the third one. They don't. They don't talk about it. Yeah. Well, she doesn't bring the cat with her in the second one, does she? To the new space station? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> she has the cat they with her, like at, at the like yeah. home base. And then they're gonna go to a new place, and then we want to bring her along as an expert because she's the only one who's dealt with right. these things. Um, right. Yeah. Did Ridley Scott do Gladiator? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he did do Gladiator. But that no. So I mean, the yeah, Braveheart. Think, Braveheart um, is so much better. Okay. I, I, true. I love Gladiator, but Braveheart's so much better. I would never put Gladiator did on you put any Mel list. Gibson in here? What? Did you put Mel Gibson in there? <laughs> okay, we can do so talk for hours. <laughs> Well, maybe that's why he's not in there. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> talking about Brave Part all that's day right. We can talk about Lethal Weapon all day. Anyway. <laughs> I like Die Hard better. Lethal Weapon. Uh, Do you go Die Hard or Lethal Weapon? What, in terms of action trilogies? No, no, no. The oh. movie Lethal Weapon or the movie Die Hard? Stand alone. Oh, man. Oh, I die, can't, hard. I, I, die Hard. I mean, I can't. What? Die Hard. No, well, the first Lethal Weapon isn't even the best Lethal Weapon, okay, in you're my right. opinion. The, the second, second one is. Better. But As a series, Lethal Weapon... I think, but yeah. as a as no. a film, the first Die Hard, I think. No, is the best. I, I I would still even as a series, I think I'd still go with Die Hard. The second really? one, I think, was after all the one. crap that the they third, released. The third one, I had a lot of fun with was Samuel Jet Li Jackson. And, 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 no, okay, third, yeah. no, I'm talking Die Hard. Die Hard with a Vengeance with Samuel Jackson. Right. You get yeah. Oh, so we're not talking about like the three other that PG one was good. I think the fourth one, one I thought was pretty fun too. Was that Kevin Smith who directed that? Yeah. No, I hated that movie. The fifth one was terrible. The They're, mother, the the mother f- Russia one. The fourth one. and the fifth one were terrible. The fourth one was, I thought, was a fun movie. Like, I wouldn't put it up no. there, but I thought it was fun. No. Lethal Weapon 4 was way better what, than Die Lee? Hard 4. Yeah. The one where, where they fight Jet Li? In the first movie, they're fighting Gary Busey. Gary B- <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense, though. You're right. That makes sense. Mel Gibson and Gary Busey are the two craziest guys in Hollywood. It makes sense you put them up against each other. Jet Li, like uh, uh, five foot two. Uh, I mean, yeah, obviously, he, obviously, he would whoop anybody. We all know that. I I'm don't just think saying, uh, not not Riggs. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it out. Pull it. What's next? Out. Best Western. Ooh. Should I go first here? Cowboys okay. versus aliens. You want to go first? Aliens. You have to go first yet. <laughs> you can go first. Because I've already made a video on my channel yeah. about my favorite Western, uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That's a hard, that's a hard one it's, it's, it, to beat. It's hard to beat. I think there might be films, Westerns, that are comparable. High Noon is a fantastic Western. That is that's a good a really one. Good one. Um, I don't think that would be my choice. Uh, the Outlaw Josie Wales. Okay, that's that a, a good, really one. good one. I'd probably go Unforgiven. Yeah, I, I would say that one too. <laughs> I I don't know. I Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Skin is mm-hmm. such a, a rare Unforgiven. Kind of has the dynamic where it's almost two main characters with him and, and Morty Freeman, yeah. but not n- anywhere near like the chemistry that they have <laughs> uh, between Robert Redford and um, Robert Newman. Newman. Paul Newman. Right. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, and and that I mean, part of that movie is just they're just so great together. Um, and every given does it a little bit, but it's not not nearly as close. The Wild Bunch is another Wild Bunch is a good one. Would Star Wars <clears throat> count as a western, or is or is or is what? That completely out? That's what are you yeah. talking about? It, it has, it, the name of the movie is Star it's Wars. It's a space western. 
<laughs> it has a lot of elements taken from Western. Understandably, and, but it's called Star it's Wars. It's like Western and samurai films, and that's Star Wars. Or Logan. Yeah. Okay. Logan, you consider that a Western? Logan, no. Yeah. Because literally they compare that movie to Shane. Another one you could say maybe the greatest. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, Shane, I don't think I'd go I with Shane. I felt like Shane was a little I, I think, I mean, if you're going to go with, uh, well, I would actually, I mean, I would jump on the Butch Cassidy Sundance Kid bandwagon. you jump on the train. I'd you'd jump on, on the stagecoach. Stagecoach is a great one, too. That is a good one. I don't know if I've seen Stagecoach. Ooh, you should watch that one. Yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. What about the original no. Spaghetti Westerns? No one's gone with any oh, yeah. uh, John Wayne. That's true. Stagecoach is John Wayne. Oh, never mind. Um, That's, I, no, that one I haven't seen. The, or the, True Grit. Yeah. I true guess Grit's great. Know, I, I didn't Wayne. see the original. I, I haven't seen a whole lot of John Wayne. The Searchers is um, the, the man who shot Liberty Valance. Is I've, the I've Searchers really the one. one where he's searching for those guys? He's searching for <laughs> Natalie Wood. <laughs> Cat Blue. Oh, I've seen that one. Cat I've Blue. seen I've seen the Searchers. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be. Is, is it, on Tommy Lee Jones in that too, right? The Searchers. What? Is Tommy Lee oh, Jones in the Searchers. What about the Horseman? I don't know. The Houseman. The Horseman with uh, Tommy Lee Jones. It's the newer one that's got um, Million Dollar Baby. Uh, oh, Hillary Swank. Hillary Swank in it. Yeah, I know what you're oh. talking about. I saw that. That's a western. I, think I saw that. That was. Oh, okay. I got my pick. I got my pick. I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna lock in with it. Okay. Okay. Dances with wolves. Ooh. Uh, if it wasn't 14 hours long, uh, I feel like it'd be a better movie. That is a good one. Kevin Costner has some really good westerns. Uh, Open Range. Silverado. Silverado. Wider. Ooh. Tombstone. Tombstone. Oh, <laughs> in ter- okay, listen. In, in like my favorite western. In terms of fun. It, yeah, it's Tombstone. Yeah. Okay, One hundred percent. In terms of fun, Val Kilmer should have won every Oscar for that movie. He should be winning Oscars this year. And for that, yes, for, for that, that movie. movie. <laughs> and yeah, in terms of uh, of most, of, yeah, I would agree. But uh, best, uh, uh, what's the other one? In a wide herb, uh Dennis Quaid is Doc Holliday. He just yeah. Well, I I think I I think I'm gonna lock in with Dances with Wolves since Peter picked Dances Butch Cassidy. I'm gonna pick Butch Cassidy. I'm you're gonna go. You're gonna jump on that train as well. <laughs> okay. There's some I I, I really enjoyed. Uh, it doesn't quite make the best, but uh, three ten to Huma. Uh, more, oh. more recently. To Huma. To Huma. Is it Huma? It's you Huma. It's, it's like humor. It's, it's spelled with a Y. I know, but you pronounce. Just it says it pronounced. Why, why are you talking, talking about? about why are talking about? There's two of those movies, right? Yeah, you're there's, there's a Christian, remake. You're talking about the Christian Bale. The, yeah, the, the the new one. Okay. I saw. What's the, the what's that movie? Hostiles that came out. Uh, don't watch that movie. Mm. <laughs> oh, have <laughs> you seen Bone Tomahawk? No. With uh, Kurt seen. Russell. Oh. That one is. Brutal. I think I, I think I have seen that. <laughs> have Brutal seen that. film. Hateful Eight. Uh, yeah, Tarantino. Tarantino's. Is that Tarantino's yeah. only western? I, no, I did. Old Django and Chain. Is Django considered a western? I uh, would obviously. Think so, yeah. They're riding horses. I would think so. They're not in the west though, right? They're yeah, in the, they like, they're, they're in, in the south. They're in the east. Maybe it isn't the south. The east. They're in the east. South. The south is the south. I, I think western was in reference to American films, wasn't it? No, Western was in reference to like, like Arizona, going, going Nevada, west? Utah, those, the, the West, California. I thought it was like the time period like, of like where they pew, pew, pew. <laughs> right, which was, which was because basically well, once, because we all moved westerly, the whole, a bunch of people from the country moved westerly. Right, but we're talking about the genre of a Western, not right. what yeah. Western well, not means. The location. No, well, what I'm saying, Django is in the <laughs> Western because yes, it takes it place in the east it's side of the country. He is a cowboy, it's, and he. It's it's a Western, okay. and well, samurai films were considered Easterns. Samurai films were considered Easterns. Yes, because I'm we're the West. Sh- I didn't know that. I mean, and so wait, Italian films right were considered now. Eastwoods. <laughs> Spaghetti <laughs> Western. <laughs> Who's going with Jago Unchained? As the best Western? Yeah. Not me. No one here? No, no okay. Then let's, let's, let's all just shut up about Jago <laughs> Unchained. <laughs> it's all a right. good film. I'm not, I wouldn't go with The Hateful Eight either. I'm, lock, I'm staying with Dances of Wolves. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I'm staying Butch Cassidy. Okay. Harrison Ford. Oh, God. Okay, I'll start on this one because Harrison Ford is two people to me. 
Okay, he is Han Solo. Okay. And he is Indiana Jones. Okay. From Crystal They're, Skull? It, no, that is not a movie. I've <laughs> yes, never heard of that. I've never, I've never, I've never heard of that movie. Because in reality, there's four Indiana Jones I don't Jones think so. I don't, I don't think you're correct on that. I'll have to check, but I don't think that's correct. <laughs> um, it's like a hair And movie. all other Harrison Ford <laughs> movies... Um, it's still in there. I, I don't can't get rid of it. I, there's a hair in my mouth. <laughs> I swear, dude. I'm trying to get it. I don't know if I got it. Are you going to be okay? I don't know if I got it. Are you going to be okay? I think it's my hair, so I should I be okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Then. No, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it yet. What's wrong with you? There's a hair. Okay. You... <laughs> so I'm locking it in Morning Glory. <laughs> what? What? what no one. Why has no one heard of it? It's just like he was. <laughs> I never saw it. I swear to God. Okay. You never saw it? I just remember movie. seeing the, the previews for it, and he's like an old news anchor who comes in to like this new news show, and Rachel McDonald, and then he's like reading Wait. the things. Like I'm not saying the word I fluffy. It. I got and it. And that's all I remember. I got the hair. I don't that's know if good. you can get this on camera. No. I can't even see that okay. from here. Um, Probably. I liked. Harrison Ford in, um, hmm. I mean, there's so many good ones because he's Indiana Jones Not, and Raiders. Right. He's Han Solo, obviously, but I don't think I would go with those ones. I, I might say The Fugitive is his best performance. Oh, yeah. Fugitive. I don't know if I would pick <laughs> that, though. One, um, I don't know if I would pick that, though. Air Force One? I definitely wouldn't go with Air Force One. <laughs> Get off my plate. I like the one where, he, where his computer gets hijacked. Firewall? Yeah. Oh. Who does he punch the guy? Get out of my computer. <laughs> Get out of my computer. Um, yeah, I, I think I think Indiana Jones. Uh, definitely the most iconic, the best, probably the best movie he's been in is Indiana Jones. Yeah. Maybe Raiders. I mean, uh... Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, but I mean, in, in terms of like the focal point, I mean, he, I mean, he, he is really he's good. A, him being the star of yeah. Indiana Jones is a big deal. Three, I, I would stick three, with three Indiana Jones. If I'm going pure acting, though, I would. I, I think I'm going to stick with and lock down on the fugitive. Or witness. I liked witness, Ooh. but I, I still think I go with the fugitive. Apocalypse witness. now for three minutes. He was good in Apocalypse <laughs> now. He was good in Blade Runner. Yeah. Um, I think Working Girl was kind of an underrated performance. Sabrina? Oh, Working, Working Girl. Girl. Sabrina? Is that Melanie, Melanie Griffith? Was he in Sabrina? I don't know. He was in I'm Sabrina. Sorry. Like the <laughs> remake, like but yeah. I don't know who. I didn't see it. I don't I didn't see the remake. It's, it's the got the girl from uh, First Night in it, I think. Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen the remake. I think you're right. She was gorgeous. Yeah. What happened know. to her? I don't know. She was in that 40 Days and 40 Nights movie with Josh Hartnett. What are talking about that guy? Whatever happened to that guy? Wait, Josh who, Hartnett? Who was in that one? She was. From the one from First Night? Yeah. She's also the one from Legends of the Fall? <laughs> right. She's in that? Oh, I'm going to watch that, like, I tonight. Think. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Oh. You know who I'm talking about with Legends of the yeah, Fall? Yeah, I don't right? know She's, who like, the only female in the right. entire movie. I don't know what her name is. <laughs> and I, then all three, I, all three I brothers, think, all three brothers like her. I think, yeah, I think And Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, including Anthony Hopkins. He's just waiting for his so sons to die off so he can make his move. <laughs> I don't know if we even picked any for Harrison Ford. I picked one. Uh, what did you Hawks pick? went with uh, uh, American Crystal Skull. Graffiti. American Graffiti. No, no, I'm not going with Crystal Skull. I don't even oh. know what that is. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah. what, I can tell you what it is. I go Raiders right, right of the Lost Ark. Mm. For the second time right, tonight. Both Raiders. All right. I probably would pick the fugitive, actually. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I hate the fugitive. Yeah. Smash All right. Oh. I have down here a guilty pleasure movie. Oh. Your favorite guilty pleasure movie? Okay. Um. Oh, okay. So wait, do I need to set parameters here? Is yeah, like, I would set a parameter because it's it's yeah. like a movie that you wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. or you wouldn't be upset if somebody else said that it was garbage. Okay. <laughs> but you really like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Balls of Fury. Balls of Fury. Okay. Can we all agree on this one? I, I, think, I one. think I think anyone who thinks that's not a good movie mm -hmm. is an uncultured piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's just that's, a Philistine. That might, but that's just me. Okay. Are, <laughs> that movie is fantastic. I, I don't know if I've ever heard that much passion about <laughs> Balls of Fury. I, I was just saying, it's a movie I like. You know a movie I really love that's a comedy? Yeah. Uh, the Goods Live Hard. 
sell hard. With Jeremy Piven. With oh, Jeremy, Jeremy Piven. Piven, and it's got Ving Rhames. Yeah. Okay. And um, okay, this, there's a bunch of people in it. Dodgeball is a good pick for guilty pleasure. Oh, yeah. that's everyone likes dodgeball. Dodgeball is a good one. Um, I, everybody likes dodgeball. Really? Yes. I mean, like, old, come on. Old everybody time. likes. That's like the oh, Step Brothers. Everyone loves Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Step Brothers is good. It's, yeah, I know, but it's not a guilty <laughs> pleasure. Step Brothers is guilty. Pleasure. Okay, so guilty pleasure's got to be something like. Uh, what if I said fanboys? Have you seen fanboys? Yes. Fanboys no, is a good I, movie. I really like fanboys. I don't think anyone boys. watching has probably seen that. I really like Just Friends. I don't you know, know what, that, would that, that be that, considered uh, a guilty uh, I, I, so I think so. <laughs> I would agree with that because not a lot of people know Just Friends. That's it's not the one a with, uh, what's his name, right? Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah. And Amy Smart. Amy Smart, yeah. yeah. I really like Just Friends. Yeah. 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 I'm uh, trying to think of something really stupid. It's slackers. Yeah. Slackers. Oh, I love bad. Slackers. Have you seen Slackers? Jason Schwartzman. Jason oh, Schwartzman. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's that? Oh, man. So oh, stupid. <laughs> what, what are you thinking of one? Yeah, I just, like, I know there's some movie that I just like. Okay, will Harry and for. the Hendersons. Oh, I man, love so Harry and the Hendersons. Good. Have you seen it? Uh, yeah, not for a long time. It's the one with yeah. Bigfoot in it. Yeah. Yes, I know. I, I, I it's know. so good. It's so oh, good. Man, I can't think of it. Let me think right. of another one that Let, I love. Let's yeah. go a little further. Okay. What about a guilty pleasure movie mm-hmm. that you're a little bit embarrassed to admit? That you're ashamed oh. of. Yeah. It's like, Probably Stardust. Do we, oh, Stardust. that's... You know what? I wouldn't say that's... you got to get way more embarrassed <laughs> than that, too. Because I like Stardust I as well. I'm I not even ashamed I, to say I, it. I don't admit to uh, it. It's one that like you don't want to say out loud. Yeah. You're afraid you're going to get beat up when you walk down the street. <laughs> I love Remember Me with Robert Pattinson. I, I I watch that film like once a year. I love that film. And you know what? I'm saying it out loud. The House Bunny with Anna Faris. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. That's does that that's, count? Yes. Is that, that something that's like a that totally movie? counts with with Colin Hanks? Let me tell you why. <laughs> let me tell you why. Remember me is such an embarrassing one to say out loud, though. They have three actors in it that are supposed to be American. Robert Pattinson, the chick from Lost who played was Claire. Yeah. She's Australian. Oh, Evangeline. Other than, other than, no, uh, right. other than yeah, James Australian. Bond is in it. What was his name? Pierce, Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan's in it. And their accents are the worst I've ever but heard. Pierce Brosnan doesn't even try and hide it. His is, he's supposed <laughs> to sound like he's from, like, I don't I, know where, um, like, New York. He's terrible. What was I going to say? You can't <laughs> think of anything. Damn it. On I had one and I just lost it. You're coming up with reasons not to embarrass yourself after I've little mentioned little the fact that I like Remember Me. Lost it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the worst, right? That's worse than the House Bunny, right? Remember Me? Uh, walk in the Clouds. Okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty or the, bad. I really like that movie. But the walk in the Clouds. Is it embarrassing to admit how much you like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Or is um, that too much no, of a cult classic? classic? I think it's a cult I classic. Think. I, think it's, I think it's a fun film. I think it's great. I don't think it's everyone... So I mean, I, any, any I Steven Seagal movie... Uh, it's yeah. complete garbage, really. Well, if uh, my okay, under, honestly, under siege honestly, is garbage. One of my favorite. Under favorites, siege is yes, complete garbage, and so is under siege two. <laughs> how does he? Do how does he block face? so many punches when he doesn't even open his eyes? That's what I want. <laughs> I like one of my favorite is Half Past Dead, the one with Jaw Roll, where they're escaping <laughs> from Alcatraz. Is that the one where they do that weird backflip thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, and it's okay. like weird in slow that was motion. Terrible. Oh man! So those That's first two one. or three films are really good, though. Right. I mean, they're like they're brutal. Right. He just gets like right up in someone's face, then and he just gets, annihilates them. Then he gets them. fat, and he yeah. looks like a Ninja Turtle. Yeah, and then, he, and, then he, and then he keeps using these stunt doubles that look like him twenty years ago. It looks like uh, uh, it uh, does Ninja look Turtle. Like. He looks like a Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtles. I love the Ninja Turtles movie, but I don't think that's a guilty. I don't think that's like an embarrassing thing to say. Maybe like yeah. the Ninja Turtles three. When they're like back in time in China. Yeah, that, that like if you like that one. <laughs> I love that I, one okay. actually, if we're being honest. <laughs> the one really? with the staff. Turtles in oh Time? Yes. You like Turtles in Time? Yes. It was so oh, good. God. And the, the Secret of the Ooze one. That's oh, embarrassing. Oh man, that's my childhood right there. I don't know. I mean, all three of those on VHS. I know we're like, we're like opening up, but I think I would have left oh, that one man. in the <laughs> closet. Oh so good. That's Let me tell one. you guys a movie that I absolutely love. I probably watch it. Maybe every other year, at least, since I was a kid. And that movie is Jaws 3. Okay. I'm not kidding. I love Jaws 3. What? I love it. It's it's terrible, but it's so much fun to watch. Ooh, tremors? 
Ooh, Tremors, Tremors is good. But yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tremors is I, real I good. Say, even Tremors like six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tremors six is like. <laughs> is that is what's his face still in him? I don't know. I stopped keeping. The like dad Tremors. from. Uh, Bert. <laughs> What's his character's name? Is Bert. Ooh, yeah, Bert, Bert. Another <laughs> one is for me, what I, I enjoyed, I watched all of them, but the first one I really liked, uh, Death Race. Death with uh, Jason Statham. Well, not the original. <laughs> oh, no, Jason the Statham. <laughs> over the top. Oh, I love top. Over the Top. <laughs> over the Top. Yeah, I, I love loved it. I just watched <laughs> Over the Top probably like a couple months ago. And I was crying. Uh, like that's a movie about arm wrestling. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you, if you. Here's another guilty pleasure movie. Yeah. The hot chick with Rob Schneider. Oh, what? It's not that bad. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it it has know. its moments. Oh. It has its moments. The hot Sit, chick. I am embarrassed. To the, I was thinking that the, the animal. <laughs> The animal. Oh, man. The animal. He made some really bad movies. <laughs> that guy, I don't know if that guy made a good movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's true. The Benchwarmers was good. Yeah. No, that wasn't, wasn't really like a him, though. He was just kind of thrown in there. All right. We're moving on from Guilty Yeah, Pleasures. we can move on. Yeah. Sandra Bullock. Ooh, speaking Sandra of bad Bullock. movies. Sandra Bullock. What? <laughs> I said, speaking of yeah. bad movies. <laughs> right? Oh. Uh, Sandra Bullock. I mean, The Blind Side, I guess, is probably her best The Blind movie. Side, Gravity. Uh, Gravity is great. Was good. Um, she was in... She did a good job Forces in Forces Net- of Nature. Okay, Forces of Nature no, with Nicole Kidman. No, the one with Ben Affleck. For, oh, what am I thinking of? Practical Magic. I'm thinking yeah. of Practical Magic. No, this one was uh, she was good in The Net. Demolition. The That's Net. Like, it was like her first film, though. <laughs> Demolition. <laughs> She wasn't that good in that one. Oh, she was good I, in that one. I liked her in Speed. What else? Yeah, she was good in Speed. She did a good job. Too. <laughs> I gotta give it to The Blind Side, though, right? Yeah, she was really good in The Blind Side. I, I would go with Gravity, just because uh, she carries the movie. Yeah, I think Gravity was the harder performance, because when you're all by yourself. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but I think The Blind Side, side she just really captured. I'm with Miss Congeniality, too. Miss Conge- the second one? Yes. Even congeniality or... What's the heat with the... Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I really liked that movie. I really did. I, 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 I actually enjoyed it as well. I, especially, I mean, a yeah, lot of the yeah. side characters are really and then, good. Then and then movie. she's like... Um, oh, what's her name? Uh, anyway, she's like giving Biff a tough time. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What's her name? Melissa uh, McCarthy? Yeah, yeah, Melissa McCarthy. Unbelievable. Yeah, Melissa McCarthy. And yeah, then Biff is like her, like, you know, it, he's like the chief of police or yeah. whatever. And she's, oh, just, yeah. she's just wrecking him. I, totally I was agree. cracking up during that scene. <laughs> oh, come on. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Ooh, Adam Sandler. Oh, man. Um, All right. Here's the thing. If we're going with best performance, is there really anything better than Punch, Punch Drunk, Drunk Love? Love? Uh, rain on me. Oh we, yeah, or is it rain over me? It, it's something it's, like that. Rain yeah, over rain me. Rain over me. I think it's that the, was good. The, he was. His performance that. was really good. I mean, the movie, look, the, look, look, <laughs> look. Anger management. Great movie. Uh, Adam Sandler is, in, in my opinion, not a serious actor. Uh, Adam Sandler is Adam Sandler because. He's Adam Sandler. Like, you know, he's I think saying, like, oh, the serious movie that he's in uh, is the best. I don't think I don't think so at all. Like, I think Adam Sandler's best performance is, it's like... Uh, uh, Jack and Jill. No, get <laughs> out of here. No, if it's Water like Boy. Waterboy. If we're excluding Billy Madison, his, or, his dramas. Yeah, or Billy Madison. Like, his original if we're excluding Adam his Sandler dramas, movies. If we're excluding his dramas, then Happy Gilmore. my pick would have to be The Wedding Singer. Oh, or the wedding the singer, wedding yeah. So good. I think it's like wedding singer or Happy Gilmore. Um, maybe Billy Madison. Oh, none of this, none of this, none of this rain over me crap. Like about nine eleven. <laughs> People think, oh, you shouldn't cry because I'm weird too. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, what about Punch Drunk Get Love? Up. I mean, he that's like a semi-serious him. movie. But he's fantastic. I, mean, I know. He's fantastic. Anyway. What, about, what about funny people? What about Click? See, I didn't really care about the funny people or Click. I mean... Get out of here. I get that there's like... You are Adam Sandler. Grown-ups, dude. Grown-ups. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Can I be real? It's either Grown-ups 1 or Grown-ups 2. The last 10 minutes or 15 minutes, yeah. like I was watching on cable, yeah. and it really made me laugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> like the last ten minutes, like he has to fight Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. The guy's like naked and he shoots and jumps into the pool and it's great. Um, never saw the rest of that movie, but uh, I enjoyed okay. the last like ten, fifteen minutes. Maybe well, I was happy that it was over. Sometimes but. that's all you need. But uh, but yeah, I don't think you can even when you talk about Adam Sandler. Uh, you can't bring up can't, his, no. his. I mean, regardless of how good he is in it, that's not who yeah, Adam yes, Sandler is. Bring up the <laughs> Adam Sandler <laughs> is the lunch lady song guy <laughs> from. Is Opera Man? Yes, like that is Adam Sandler. I don't want to see okay. serious movies right. with you, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, like if I if you were him right now, I would say that. Like, just stop <laughs> so trying to be okay. different Fine, and go agree. back <laughs> to agree. the stupid I'll things agree. that you used to do. I'll agree. I won't go with. One of Adam Sandler's more dramatic roles. So, what, so I'm gonna lock in "Rain Over Me." <laughs> you know what? You're just trying to be a hipster, <laughs> coffee drinking asshole. Oh, I think it's great. I'm like, no. That what's the you just come out of a Netflix movie that's just like serious, and someone tried to watch it, and I like hit the remote out of their hand. Sandy, um, Sandy no. Wexler? No, like he tried to come out with the, he. The Yeah, the stories. like the brothers. I one. actually couldn't make it through that one either. I haven't seen yeah, it. the ridiculous six. That one I did make it through, but I didn't like it. Oh, that's good. The Cobbler. That one I made it through, and I don't really know how I feel about that one. I like Fifty First Dates. I mean, that was that was. All right, let's just let's just move on. Hawks is having a tough time dealing with I this. Just... I can't grab it. There we go. All right, films that have changed your life. Whoa, we're getting deep. <laughs> well, we are getting deep. I, I kind of already talked about all Is that one like at the these, bottom of the hat there? Kind of talked about all these Yeah, already. it kind of was. Uh, I think just Christopher Nolan is the greatest director. Yeah, yeah, yeah Memento changed your life. Your life. Well, and now living your life backwards. No, I just... The uh, lifestyle choice. I don't know that... Um, There's so many ways you can go about this, though, right? To feel right. that change your life. Because if I'm going from a philosophical standpoint, like it changed my, the way I think and approach problems... Empire Strikes Back and Dragon the Bruce Lee story are probably the two most inspirational films. Because? Okay, well, because Empire Strikes Back, Yoda's just teaching Luke, like, the ways of the Force. Right. And I really took to a lot of that. Right. Uh, then in Dragon the Bruce Lee story, Bruce Lee's talking about how, like, you know, if you're thinking you're already moving too slow, you have to just be trained to just hit and just react. And I really took that in and like was like, okay, I can I can do the same thing. Okay, what uh, uh, I would say, probably scent of a woman. Scent of a woman. Scent of a woman. Why? Uh, just because the the speech he gives at the end, when he's like defending the young scared Chris O'Donnell <laughs> versus the fat Philip Seymour Hoffman and his rich father, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a great speech. And uh, do you know the speech by heart? Uh, I mean, I know, but he's like, It's not a snitch, and uh, it's great, <laughs> <laughs> it's great, great speech. You should watch it, it mm-hmm. makes the whole movie worth it. Um, but I don't know, in terms of like really making me love movies, um, I mean, it would probably be like the spaghetti westerns when I watched as a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd like never. I mean, looking back at those movies now, you know, it's it's kind of a... They're all like... I can never get over how the dubs, like, weren't correct and, and everything. But, like, they're really... For what they were, like, they're great movies. And I remember seeing those and when I was a kid. And that, like, really uh, got me that. And Back to the Future, actually. Yeah. Okay. When I was a kid. Like, it really think, made me love movies. Yeah, I think between the Star Wars, original Star Wars... Well, yeah, of course. And original Wars. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Man, I, I I think those more than anything else probably made me fall in love yeah. with movies. Yeah, I would, I would agree. Um, for me, a movie that made me re- like it made me actively want to seek out film because I realized like if, if there's stuff out there that's this good, then I want to know what else is out there. Is actually Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Um, I saw that, was blown away by it, and started to like really get into historical film or like films that are you know older and classics um as far as films that touched me personally or like where i kind of you know try and live my life a certain way uh maybe not the first time that i saw it but rocky Ooh. yeah that's a yeah. good one i was, I was thinking rocky. rocky as well 
Yeah, Rocky is is uh, just so inspirational um, on some and kind of kind of a whole series a little bit. But it really like, does. Uh, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone gets a lot of slack for being not a very good actor, but he's fantastic and he's a fantastic you know, Rocky. He's, yeah, <laughs> he's he's a great Rocky, and he you know the the speech that he gives in Rocky Balboa. The, fifth, um, the sixth one? The sixth one? Yeah. yeah. Hey, he keeps it going. That is actually like just, a really good speech. It's one of the best speeches I've ever heard. Yes. <laughs> just, you know, about, about you know, it's not that's how hard the, you hit, it's about yeah, how hard you get hit. That's the one where his son is like, man, I'm trying to live, but I'm under your shadow. And yeah. Then, and then Rocky's like, like let me tell you so, something you already know. Grow up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Life will beat you down. Like, life's hard. Too bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like your life's a heck of a lot better than mine was. Get Didn't you see the first Rocky? And keep pushing. <laughs> I okay, I got I got I got one. Okay. I don't know if you've ever even seen this movie. We have. Go ahead. <laughs> a Bronx Tale? Yes, with Robert De Niro. Yes. yes. That movie uh, very good. inspired me. There's a lot of uh, very, quotable lines very good. in that movie, especially when uh, what is it? There's no such or there's nothing worse than wasted talent. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Thirty, yeah, that'll get you. That'll get you. There's a lot of guns, and and of course, of course, The Godfather. Uh, well, I'm a little. Of, oh, go ahead. Well, I'm a little surprised no one's mentioned Adventures in Babysitting. You know what? <laughs> oh, okay, never <laughs> mind. Go ahead with The Godfather. Yeah. Yeah. Godfather. We're talking about The Godfather. The Godfather. We're just ruining so, it. Uh, nobody leaves here without uh, singing the blues. <laughs> yeah, but no. In terms of like storytelling, um, especially like in Godfather Two. Yeah. Uh, how that movie is essentially both a prequel, like and a sequel, yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Uh, like it, I was brilliant. I remember watching that movie, never seen anything like that. I don't recall yeah. there being a third Godfather movie. Um, <laughs> well, so the, I, I my assumption would be anyone who's an actor would want to watch The Godfather and The Godfather Two. Right. Yeah. It, it, like when I saw those films, the acting was so good. And the characters felt so real, like I right. knew them. And I remembered like half the names of everybody. Yeah. I was like, oh, there's Michael and Sonny right. and Don Vito and Clemente, right. Luca Brasi, and you, like, what? Clemente. Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> I remember the names wrong, but I remember them. <laughs> and Fredo. Yeah, there's Fredo. Yeah, the, the Godfather and the Godfather Part Two, I felt like, taught me a lot about, about respect and kind of the difference between demanding respect and earning it. And Vito is so respectful to everybody that he meets, and he expects them to be respectful back. And his sons kind of don't really get it. Like his sons are kind of just you know demanding of respect because they're Corleones. Michael um, gets it. Does he though? <laughs> I mean, like kind of, <laughs> a little bit. You know, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful is another film that kind of oh yeah kind of changed the way I yeah I looked at movies really. If I actually, I mean, when I think about it, but if I were to pick my favorite film of all time, Life is Beautiful might be it. Wow, wow, I really like that film. It's always mine a bold is, statement. Mine is Balls of Fury. Balls of Fury. Balls of Fury. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming on to my show. Anthropants, Hans Sardo, it was great having you guys here. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.